All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Skull Girls mobile video. And today we're just going to be continuing the series that I made where I'm basically going to be explaining what stats are best for every single variance for every single philia. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about Fright Ends, which personally is not my favorite. I absolutely hate the way that she works. Um, honestly, she is probably the worst feeler out of all of them um now my opinion changed about windswept i did say windswept was like pretty bad but like if you can you know invade if you can time it pretty decently well then yeah she, she's actually like a pretty solid she's a pretty solid philia the only issue I have with Fright Ends is the fact that you have to get hit in order to actually use her ability which is bleeds and yeah it just being bleeds isn't good at all like all, all you're doing is literally just applying bleeds when you can just use bad hair day which is another bronze and yeah you could just do it that way without having to take damage but i mean I, I guess every character has its own bad variant in this case for philia it has to go to fright ends honestly if her power worked a little differently maybe to where you don't have to take as much damage uh because it's kind of like a it's a percentage thing so it's kind of like here and there you'll you'll apply them with bleed but yeah, it being percentages, it just, it isn't good. They should make it to where every two hits or every three hits on the combo, you apply a bleed. Maybe that would make it a little bit better. But right now, as it is, no, she, she's she's pretty garbage. She's, she's pretty garbage. But there's always going to be blockbuster stats that can actually kind of change the way that she works and actually make her like pretty decently well so if you don't know this um fright ends is a defense character but again she also is kind of offense because of the fact that she applies bleeds but obviously they're not good bleeds you're better off just using bad hair day um but basically what i went for with these stats is basically just going to be block proficiency which basically means that um i take less damage while i'm blocking so it basically just it gives me more protection which is always nice because i mean you kind of want to stack this on defense uh defense fighters or just fighters in general that you want to keep alive um now again with the percentages and the flat percentage if that's how you want to say it um, so like you see right here, HP plus 9%, HP plus 250, no percentages, it's just flat out. Again, with flat, with flat stats, you mainly just want to use them on bronzes. Now, if you do want to get a better explanation on why it's like why it's better to use uh, flats instead of percentages on bronze, you can always watch ZOW's video and he basically explains it way better than I will ever be able to explain it, honestly. But yeah, if you look at the top right, you can see my attack, which is base kit, which means that this is not like... This is me not adding any blockbusters. This is just not adding anything. Uh, you can see the damage is 3,257, but when I apply the blockbusters, that goes up to like 4,000 something. Same thing with the HP. If you look at it, it's uh, 22,000.3 which is it's it's a pretty good amount for a defense but you can also see the plus 9000 added onto that so that's like that's probably like near enough to like a diamond maybe like a really low level diamond i think uh, yeah so i guess you can probably turn her into like a diamond card uh without even having to evolve her but then again she's just not a good fighter like you, you just shouldn't be putting time into her regardless if like you only have her or something you're better off working on a different bronze or even like um what's it called um basically you're better off working on any other card besides her to be honest but yeah these are the moves uh that you mainly want to focus on is again hp not percentage just hp flat out um as you can see i have some like 12 percent but I, again don't do not use 12 percent do not use percentages at all the only reason why i'm using percentages is because i don't have the the right blockbusters that i currently want but once i get them then yeah i'll have like a perfect build for each and every uh, variant for Philia. But yeah, enough uh, enough talking, enough explaining about it. Again, if you want to understand the percentages and the flat, uh, basically just the flat stats and percentage stats, again, I'm always going to have a link uh, to ZOW's video. He explains it really good. So if you want to, I guess, learn about that and all that, you can just watch his video and he basically would just teach you how to how, how to basically use them correctly. Alrighty, so we're just going to go with this team and uh, uh, it might be a little bit tough, but we can see what we can do with uh, Fright Ends. Again, like how I did in the last episode, I am going to be doing uh, two matches with the blockbusters and then two matches without them. And uh, then we'll be able to see like the difference. On Bad Hair Day, it didn't really make that much of a difference. I noticed it. Uh, it was probably like 100 to like 200 extra damage. It wasn't too insane, but then again, you got to remember it's just blockbuster stats. Like it's not... It's not the fighter or anything, like, it's just a blockbuster stats. I'm really curious how much damage he does. Jesus, only 100? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I got it. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time. 
please let me just tag out let me just tag out okay so only a hundred damage dealt to me while blocking that that's i mean i don't know if that's just like the regular the regular damage but like that that's pretty damn good to be honest only 100 that's some pretty good uh block proficiency right there now i did i did say that block proficiency isn't good i did say that um but i kind of take it back because it is it's pretty decent on defense characters yeah look at that only 100 to like jesus that's that's pretty damn good to be honest you can actually probably run block proficiency like on a even big bands i think big bands would actually that's probably like his one of his perfect stats or one of his best stats honestly but there you guys have it uh first win i i'm really curious to see how much damage they're gonna do after i take off the block proficiency because that only a hundred like that that's really surprising for me for some reason like only a hundred like that's that's crazy Alrighty, here we are into the second match uh maybe i wasn't you know using it correctly but let, let's check yeah it's only a hundred okay they have um what's it called is it live wire i don't think it's live wire yeah i don't think it's live wire um but yeah jesus the defense is pretty damn good actually oh yeah and speaking about the challenge that i did say in my last video the one of the road to diamond episodes i will be doing uh what, what do you want to call it like bad hair day only i will be doing that pretty soon uh hopefully by next week i'll have the video uploaded because i'm barely gonna upload this video on friday which again it's not gonna be a road to diamond episode it's gonna be this video that i'm making right now the best uh blockbuster stats for fried ends but i definitely will get uh to it i will start making that video of using only bad hair day because it seems pretty interesting and I'm very curious to see how that's going to go for me. Also, I'm just going to tag out here because I, I really don't want to gamble her uh, using her ultimate. And on top of that, if she uses her ultimate, yeah, like, she's out. She literally just took herself out, which is quite nice. I should mainly try this against, like, fighters that have, like, really good attack stats. Because um, then we'll be, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to see, like, the average damage that, let's say, like, a 25k fighter is going to be dealing to me. But just, like so far it's looking like fighters that have anywhere from like 9,000 to 10,000 uh power points if that's what you want to call them they it looks like they only deal like 100 damage like 100 to like 200 and that's literally about it like that's that's pretty damn crazy Alrighty, and that's our second one now we're gonna get to playing without the stats and uh we'll be able to see i guess what type of difference it's gonna make hopefully it makes like a pretty good difference because i mean to be honest that that right there just the block proficiency that kind of like that, that was pretty shocking to see the fact that they were only doing a hundred damage to me while i was blocking Alrighty, and here you can see there's only 15 percent of block proficiency that's only 15 which is pretty damn bad but i mean you can also see the stats they've gone down a lot there's like no boosts, no nothing. So, I mean, I'm expecting to be taking around like 300 to like 400 damage uh, while blocking. But we'll see, we'll see. Also, we are fighting a little bit more tougher team. But uh, I think we'll be able to handle it. Alright, the moment of truth. Let's see. Hmm. Is it because... Oh, she's only 4,000. Okay, I was about to say like, why isn't she like doing any damage? We'll see right now with uh, uh, Risky Ginger. We'll see how much damage she does to me. I believe she's like anywhere from like 10 to 11k, I think. I wasn't able to check in time because I literally just instantly clicked to fight them. So we'll see, we'll see. All right, let, let's, let's give it a look. Let's give it a look. 12,000, all right. Oh my god, that, that hurts. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that hurts. I wonder how much of a difference it would have made if I had that extra 26%, I think. I think it was 26% block proficiency. I'm not 100% sure, but I wonder how much of a difference that would make because my god. God, those are like cannons I'm getting hit with. What do you mean by that? No, I just let her take out Bad Miss Frosty. Didn't even take her out. Um, how much damage does she do? She only does 250 to like a thousand, or she only does like around 250 to my Bad Bad Miss Frosty. So wait, that's still that's still okay. That still got me apparently. All right, we're gonna take her out and then we're gonna go back to our fright ends and see. Cause I yikes. Okay, I think I might be taking like 2,000 damage from this uh not somewhere around like a thousand damage so yeah i'm not 100 percent sure how much of a difference it makes but it's looking like a you know like a block proficiency is actually pretty good on uh fried ends and i'm pretty sure it's it's like good overall on like any defense but mainly the only reason why i like want to use like a defense build on the fried ends is just because of the fact that she can get taken out really easily like right now and you can see her power is all right, but the fact that it can't even turn into permanent bleeds, or I think it can, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, if you do have, uh, what's it called, uh, the permanent bleed, if you do have those, I think it might make them into, into permanent bleeds, but I'm not 100% sure. But other than that, like I did say, 
do not waste time on upgrading her at all, like whatsoever. All right, I think we're just gonna finish her off by putting my Dijin Frizz and just literally KOing them. Yeah, that that okay. Yeah, that instantly almost took them out. Okay, now they're just getting now they're just getting lucky. All right, there we go. All right, you know we're in our last match. This is probably gonna be a 20, 20 win streak. So we'll we'll see. So eleven k. Let's see. Let's see. So yeah, it's around it's around two to like four hundred. Uh, like if they're around like ten k to like eleven k, it's around like twice the damage that you'll be taking. Which again, only being only like taking a hundred damage while blocking, like that's that's gonna be very useful. But then again, it's like you're only going against AIs. Like against real players, yeah, it would be useful. But against AIs, it's like I don't think you really have to worry much about defense. And that's probably just coming from I guess like an attack based uh attack based player because I really like my attack. I'm probably dead. Please, <laughs> God damn it, I am dead. All right, but. You guys were able to see right there. It was anywhere from like 200 to like 400 uh, without without the blockbusters on, which is, it's not bad. Again, like how I was saying that you're better off probably using some other like attack stats. Again, that that's coming from someone who likes his attack damage and all that. But uh, yeah, if you're more of a defense player, I definitely would recommend putting some time into like trying to get uh, proficiency like stacked up and all that. What I mean by proficiency is block proficiency. But uh, yeah, the matches were the matches were pretty good, and we were able to see how much damage we were like receiving versus like how much damage we were receiving without the blockbusters. And it did make like a, a, a slight difference, not super crazy to where it's like super noticeable, but like enough of a change to where you'll notice it from time to time that you're not taking a lot of the damage because those hits that Risky Ginger was giving me was like a thousand to like almost two thousand, which is like Jesus Christ, that's that's disgusting. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the video off at this. Um, if anybody feels like or wanting to put time into upgrading Fridays, that's all. That's all. Like that's all your choice. But personally, me, I would just recommend not to. There's just no point in wasting time on her. Uh, so in general, this this video, I mean, you can still use her. You can still use her. She, she's still a fighter, but I'm just saying there's there's going to be way better fighters to use other than her. But yeah, do let me know. I was going to talk about this in my last video, which I completely forgot to. Um, if you want to see other type of content other than just Filio only, just, you know, let me know what you recommend. And if people also like the recommendation, I don't mind giving it a try and uploading something different other than just Skullgirls. Uh, again, I like this game, and I, I am going to be playing it for a, a pretty long time, a pretty, pretty long time. But then again, I don't want to bore you guys with the same content every single time. So if you are interested in watching some other type of content or wanting me to play a, a, like a different type of game, it doesn't have to be specifically mobile. It can be like some horror game. It can be like any PC game, basically any game. Uh, just go ahead and recommend it to me. I'll definitely read the comment, and I'll look into it. If other people like it as well and they want me to try the game, I will definitely look into getting it and, uh, yeah, just playing it for you guys. But, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for coming back to another video. If you found this helpful, let me know. Um, I don't know how much times I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat this, but thank you, thank you guys so much for the support. It's always nice to see the videos getting views and likes. It's, it's nice to know that people are watching my stuff. It's really nice. But, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna leave you guys with some last words. Do not, do not upgrade Fright Ants. Just do not if you want to. That's all your choice, but... I highly recommend you don't. Just, just don't. But yeah, anyways, with that being all said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, good rest of your nights, and I'll see you guys uh, later.